Hi guys. I'm glad all my friends are here to join me. This gentleman, who evidently was a high school teacher, Gabriel Guype of Indicrim High School in Sacramento, has been placed on unpaid leave and evidently will be fired. It took parents going before a school board meeting to raise uh, questions about who the heck they are hiring and teaching their children. For almost two weeks, he was teaching children communist ideas. Geip was caught on camera talking about the NFL flag displayed in his classroom. You know that uh, image there of the black scorpion? That is the logo of one of the cartels from Mexico. And of course, we all know uh, the Soviet sign there of the uh, sickle and the hammer. How the heck was this man even hired? to be a teacher for high school students. Here's an image of him wearing a, a t-shirt saying F the police. Besides the Anifa flag, he had a poster of the Chinese Communist Party leader Mao Zedong in his classroom and offered extra credits to students who attended protests. Gaip also had stamps of images of Joseph Stalin, Fidel Castro, and Kim Jong-un to mark students' works, their papers that they handed in. He was only removed from the classroom after a meeting of the parents complaining to the school board yesterday, Wednesday. There is a YouTube video on Twitter uh, where one of the mothers stands up and complains about this man teaching the children his radical ideas. I'll give you a link to it. It'll be in the information box down below that says more. There's another YouTube video that was posted by anonymous popcorn farmer of several other parents with their children complaining about this teacher, uh, saying that the school was complicit um, allowing this guy to teach their children such communist ideas. You know, I thought teachers were not allowed to bring their politics into the classroom. You know darn well other teachers knew what he was teaching. The principal of the school knew what he was teaching. You know, the, the, the parents asked, where were the faculty members? Where was the vice principal? Um, even the fact that he had all these tattoos that were visibly displayed should have gave a warning sign. This guy evidently had been teaching at the school for a number of years. And why did they wait so long to pull him out of the classroom uh, with pay? He still gets paid for sitting at home until whenever they decide to fire him. Supposedly, they're going to fire him. He evidently also made comments how there was other teachers in the same school that shared his political beliefs. So I wonder if there is, in fact, an investigation. Are those other teachers also trying to brainwash these children? Are they sharing those beliefs in the classroom, which is, as far as I know, they're not supposed to do? Project Veritas has uh, one of the videos. I guess it took them uh, to release the information to make it public before he was actually laid off fired from uh, the school but he's been there two three years there's another twitter post about another teacher who teaches third grade students how to be activists a couple of the stills from uh the video that's posted here on twitter you know you ask your kid your grandkids oh what'd you do in school today oh nothing how was school today it was okay and then you find out what's really going on here. One says Stonewall, a, a building, an uprise, a revolution to three third graders, third graders. Here she is on one of the desks, dancing, wiggling her hips with the uh, rainbow flag behind her. You know, I'm all for freedom of speech, freedom of expression, but I don't want ideas crammed down my children's or my grandchildren's throat. And putting this stuff in the classroom is definitely 
pressure. That's abuse. I guess this is a teacher from Glen Ellen School District in Chicago. It says here, Abraham Lincoln Elementary School. Another one of her in her classroom talking about white supremacy and white privilege in her classroom. Another Twitter post, how she reminds them they're supposed to be teaching them academics, not political, not religion, uh, things like that. When when my grandson was out of school uh, when we were in lockdown a year ago, um, his history teacher mixed in religion with history about World War II. And I thought that was totally inappropriate because she was talking about um, on Zoom about the Jews and mixing in Jesus and the Nazis all together. And it was like totally confusing. And I don't know how these kids can actually learn anything in school. Yeah, I'm a Christian. So, you know, but, but, but school is not a place to teach this crap. I would not be surprised if YouTube censors this video. YouTube censors so much, but yet it's allowed to be taught in schools. On this Twitter post, it shows uh, his classroom with the Antifa flag, uh, a poster of, yeah, Mao. Does he realize how many teachers Mao killed when he took over China? That man evidently does not know history. So what are your thoughts? Put your comments down below. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for your support. Please stay safe and I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.